Praise to Shakyamuni Buddha. Teacher, bow destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, nor of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, bow destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Teacher, Bow destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, nor of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, bow destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Teacher, bow destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, Endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, nor of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, O destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. When you, chief of humans, were born, you took seven steps on this great earth, and you said, I am supreme in this world. To you who were wise at that time, I prostrate, completely pure body, supremely fine form, ocean of wisdom like a golden mountain, fame that blazes in the three worlds, supreme protector, to you I prostrate, endowed with the supreme marks, a face like the stainless moon, a color like gold, to you I pay homage, the three worlds are not like you who is free from dust, matchless one, endowed with knowledge, to you I prostrate. Protector, endowed with great compassion, omniscient teacher, yield of ocean-like merits and good qualities, to the thus gone I prostrate. You purity, free from attachment, through virtue releases from the evil gone realms, unique, supreme, ultimate meaning, to the dharma that brings peace I prostrate. From freedom, teaching the path, well abiding in the pure trainings, holy field endowed with good qualities, to the sangha also I prostrate. Homage to the Supreme Buddha, homage to the Dharma Refuge, homage to the Great Sangha, to all three ever devout homage, to all worthy of respect, bowing with bodies as many as all realms, atoms, and all aspects, with supreme faith I pay homage. Do not commit any non-virtuous action, accumulate virtue and goodness, subdue your own mind. This is the teaching of the Buddha. Like a star, a mirage, a lamp, pollutions, drops of dew, bubbles, dreams, lightning and clouds. Look at all conditioned phenomena as such. Due to this merit, having attained the state of the all-seeing and thereby subduing the enemy of faults, may I liberate migrators from the ocean of existence, stirred by the waves of aging, sickness and death. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. By the positive potential I create by listening to the Dharma, may I attain Buddhahood in order to benefit all sentient beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. 
May all sentient beings be inseparable from the joyful happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from holding some close and others distant. Respectfully, I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I confess all my negative actions accumulated since beginningless time and rejoice in the virtuous actions of all ordinary and noble beings. Please, Buddha, remain as our guide and turn the wheel of Dharma until samsara ends. Through the merit created by myself and others, may the two bodhicittas ripen, and may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. This offering I make of a precious jeweled mandala, together with other pure offerings and wealth, and the virtues we have collected throughout the three times with our body, speech, and mind. O oh, my masters, my yadams, and the three precious jewels, I offer all to you with unwavering faith. Accepting these out of your boundless compassion, please send forth waves of your blessings. Idam Guru Ratna Mandalakam Nayatiyami. The Heart of the Perfection of Wisdom Sutra. I prostrate to the Arya Triple Gem. Thus did I hear at one time, the Bhagavan was dwelling in the massive vultures mountain on Rajagriya together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. At that time, the Bhagavan was absorbed in the concentration on the categories of phenomena called profound perception. Also at that time, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara looked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom and beheld those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Then, through the power of Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara, How should any son of the lineage train who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom? He said that, and the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara said this to the Venerable Shariputra, Shariputra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom should look upon it like this, correctly and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Form is empty. Emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, compositional factors, and consciousness are empty. Shariputra, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness, without characteristic, unproduced, unceased stainless, not without stain, not deficient, not fulfilled. Shariputra, therefore, in emptiness there is no form, no feeling, no discrimination, no compositional factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odor, no taste, no object of touch, no phenomenon. There is no I element, and so on, and up to and including, no mind element, no mental consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance, and so on, and up to and including, no aging and death, no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation, and path. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there is no attainment, Bodhisattvas rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond air, they reach the end point of nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times also manifestly completely awaken to unsurpassable, perfect, complete enlightenment in reliance on the perfection of wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of the perfection of wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequal, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all suffering should be known as the truth, since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared. Tayata gate gate paragate parasam gate bodhisattva.
Vaita Gati Gati Par Gati Par Sam Gati Bodhisattva. Shariputra, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva should train in the profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagavan arose from that concentration and commended the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avakateshvara saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage. It is like that. It is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom, just as you have indicated. Even the Tathagatas rejoice. The Bhagavan having thus spoken, the Venerable Shaivari Pucha, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara, those surrounding in their entirety, along with the world of gods, humans, Asuras, and Gandharvas, were overjoyed and highly praised that spoken by the Bhagavan. To fulfill the needs of all beings at their various levels of understanding, we request that you turn the wheel of Dharma, including the lesser, greater, common, and extraordinary approaches. <laughs> so thank you for being here those who are here thank you for uh those people who are here remotely you're still here <clears throat> so um tonight uh very special celebration of the first time it's recorded that lord buddha um spoke the truth to um, the public in a way. He spoke the truth to people that were um, the ascetics that were his friends, but um, maybe there were also others present. In any case, um, we have you guys present, so um, we're reenacting um, what the uh, Buddha's experience was. So that's the point. We want to be Buddha ourselves. We have to reenact the Buddha's um, world and practice. Um, on my side, it's nice to see um, students here wearing like um, Milarepa retreat Zen. Um, many years ago, um, when Chodan Rinpoche was visiting, I said, you know, it'd be nice to have, you know, some recognition that people took refuge and sincere um, householder practitioners. So he said, you know, so we were talking, and I said, well, how about just uh, the retreat Zen, you know, white? And he's kind of a fierce teacher, so he said, then you must do the retreat. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're wearing, if you're wearing you know, you're, it's a reminder that you, you know, you need to do retreat. And my desire is to um, create my desire to fulfill my teacher's, um, my samaya to my teacher, not just create a temple, but also create a situation where people um, can have a, a good retreat. Even though you can do retreat in your house, um, there are many distractions at home and responsibilities. And um, even though there are other retreat centers uh, in the California and of course India, they can be difficult to get to and sometimes costly. So um, we've offered a few retreats here, but um, people know I'm working hard to have like um, a retreat availability up in Washington overlooking the ocean and mountains. I think it's easier, right? Just like Milarepa, you know. We can't really be Milarepa. No, no one I know can practice like that. <laughs> Milarepa, but um we we do our regular uh household practice at home we do uh practice uh in our congregation a sangha but we also have to do intense practice we've received the um the empowerments and initiations and the instructions and we um you know practice so we get some familiarity and then we need to do the retreat so um, 
you know, I'm very busy with things and I've done many retreats, but um, fortunately, um, you know, Geshe Damshala, who's here tonight, my friend and co-teacher, so he's very good at leading people in retreats and very kind and uh, also um, very exacting, right? Do it the right way. <laughs> so we can be sure that, you know, we're doing the retreat correctly, starting, doing fire puja, so forth, like that. <clears throat> then, uh, you know, then, then we can say, okay, we're really um, worthy of, you know, the robe, right? So <clears throat> to have that level, we need um, to not only have uh, confidence in ourselves and in the teacher, but we need confidence in the Dharma. We need to really reflect over and over on, you know, the truth of suffering, the truth of the cause, the truth of the end, and the truth of the path. So it's not there is suffering or there is cause, it's the truth of. So these Buddha said, I found these truths. You need to find them for yourself, but I'm going to tell you, I found these truths. So uh, to do all the practices from the very beginning, we need to reflect on uh, Four Noble Truths. And then at the end, uh, whatever our practice is, then we can, um, we can say we've actualized the Four Noble Truths. So when we become Buddha, we can say we've actualized Four Noble Truths, right? So Four Noble Truths is never something you kind of like, okay, got that. I'm doing something else, right? We're always, you know, just, uh, we can look at the Four Noble Truths in very, very detailed level. Um, you know, we won't go into that tonight, but um, uh, particularly, uh, we can learn to tell the truth from, of our suffering, right? The truth of it and the truth of the cause. Sometimes people who are Buddhist think, well, the third uh, is not possible, right? Buddha said there is uh, cessation, right? Their truth. So we, we do, we're not nihilists. We believe that we can overcome the ignorance that causes the suffering, and there can be an end of the suffering caused by ignorance. So we're not just doing uh, psychotherapy, right? So, and then the path, the truth of path. So, uh, you know, really, if if people say, what what's the one thing that I need to concentrate on? I would say meditatively, please do shamatha, please do shine, so you have calm mind. Um, but then, uh, you know, please reflect deeply on Four Noble Truths. Then, based on that, you will develop bodhicitta and you develop the two accumulations of, of merit and um, wisdom, right? So, uh, that's, uh, that's all you need, actually. So, people, so you don't think, okay, um, so when I was studying with Geshe of Joan, who's rather direct at times, <laughs> sometimes fierce, uh, I, would, I would ask for another practice, and it would say, you know, of course he would say, well, you didn't complete the last one, so why am I giving you another one? <laughs> but uh, all, all the trainings, all the advanced practices are, so we get the Four Noble Truths. So uh, another Buddha, uh, Buddhist group sometimes criticizes Tantra. Uh, I really appreciate what Jada Rimshi said when he was here. We, we, we practice what you guys have been practicing, talking like Theravada or Sarvastivadins or anybody. We're, we're just a little slower than you guys, so we need extra. <laughs> so I'd say, you know, we're, we're doing extra teachings and trainings because we really want to just deepen even more our, our realization of uh, Four Noble Truths for, 
you know, uh, uh, the truth aspect is it, because the ultimate refuge has to be the truth, right? Can it be anything else? Yeah. So I'd like to um, give you Damshala's wonderful here today. So I'm just going to say a few things. Are you ready? Good evening. How are you? Uh, since better online is today is very good. Uh, it's two, four, six, five people in the lesson two. Today is very important day. Uh, oh yeah, hi Mary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Buddha in the first teaching day. Uh, uh, so actually Tibetan, you know, calendar in uh, summer last month in the uh, fourth and day this is a very important uh, Buddha is the first teaching in Four Noble Truth actually in a uh, Buddha he is enlightened and now uh, in Bodhgaya Bodhgaya is enlightened in after so 14 and day he is actually is no teaching Actually, he is in Dharma talk. Anyway, he is in going. As some uh, people in the look to this very interesting guy, right? And here, and here in the very top, four finger four, and giving some people in students in going. In any way, going. And who are you? And some people asking. Some people is no. Who who are you? Is no Buddha. And Buddha's meaning is this time is no, right? Actually, it's Buddha. He's in. Enlightened and for the hood. Oh, he isn't going and gay. And actually, <clears throat> the Buddhist traditional and whoever and teacher is, oh, I now talking uh, today in Dharma talk. I now talking in this uh, Four Noble Truths, no talk. Because traditional, the student and uh, talk to his uh, teacher and Buddha. And the 14th day after an Asura and God, Asura and Gods, and these and Buddha is in uh, uh, the Bodhgaya is in uh, some countryside in Kings. Oh, this guy very interesting. And we are in talk to him, ask to him, and inviting in Buddha. Hey, today you coming in and uh, what I see. Please and coming. We are in. Uh, you today we are to teach to uh, us mm. and but uh, Buddha said that he is in coming you know Varanasi Varanasi coming he is in uh, this time is no Trump he is in his stay in uh, Lim Lim right <laughs> yes sit down and uh, five students and Asura and God and animal some people in the very, some people in uh, uh, invite to his Buddha and uh, ask to in the Buddha. If, uh, first, in Buddha is in teaching in four noble truth. Actually, in Buddha is in teaching, teach time in three times. Three times. The first, in Buddhaya. No, no, no. He's in Varanasi. Four noble truth. And very generally, General and he is in teach. After he is in uh, Rajgir, Rajgir in now is in where uh, all time reading in Heart Sutra. This one very deep and Heart Sutra is you know, uh, uh, um, enlightened to in Buddha and here in uh, uh, Buddha is in teach to the second teaching. And after third teaching, very is smart, very good in you know, some condition, condition guy, right? No, all two people, and only few people, few students hmm, here, uh, Buddha teaching to Vajrayana way. Vajrayana way in teaching, doing third and teaching, uh, in uh, Tibetan name in Yambajing, a place named Yambajing, and the Sanskrit name Vishali. Vishali is in a little um, uh, countryside. And this then, oh, but uh, I now go into this, but uh, Vishali. Vishali coming and third teaching in a Vajrayana way. 
Vajrayana way is a very tantra way and studying very short time. We are meditated and very, uh, very smart a guy is an enlightened dislike. Dislike. And I said, Buddha is in, in three times teach to an enlightened after you know, 45 years. He is in all teaching. After his uh, period uh, Nirvana way in Kushinagar, Kushinagar, he is coming. Oh, students, hey, hey Buddha, why do you go into his Kushinagar? Asked him. Hey, Kushinagar, Yaka, I like to before I the Bodhisattva time in Kushinagar's very big city. Lots and before I and I previous life in lots meet to in lots and my students live there in, in Kushinagar. I go into in Kushinagar in with uh, Ananda. Ananda with some students go into Kushinagar. In Kushinagar in the uh, uh, Buddha his camp very comfortable, and some people in the meet to in the Buddha after he's in, in, he, in Buddha is in Pirinavana and die <coughs> in Kushinaga. Now, uh, actually, we are in a traditional, very good fourth place. The fourth in enlightened in the Bodhgaya, uh, second in the uh, uh, about the teaching place in Varanasi, a second teaching in Rajgir. Rajgir is a very big mountain and, and uh, very too close in Nalanda and monasteries, universities are too close. And for you know, next uh, uh, boat guys in Nirvana, Pari Nirvana place in Kushinak, a very decent, famous place. Uh, monks and Buddhist people go into in India Central. Uh, we are going to, you know, I, I mean, maybe you know, many times and came to uh, these places. Yeah. Uh, actually, in the fourth no noble truth, uh, I am understanding and learning to, you know, five students in Asura gods ask to in. Buddha, yeah, Buddha, you know, why do you, you know, all people in you know, supper, right? And some people are you know, born or in seeking, in dying, right, in supper. And um, Buddha said, actually, we shall, you know, whoever can exist, a born to born in a circle, right? Secondly, go on to go on to go on to you. And suffering continue and exist. Exist. And what do you we are uh, 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 first in uh, suffering? We are no. It's fair learn. Oh, suffer. And suffer. And suffer. And uh, some people are, uh, every day in, uh, understand to and suffer, right? Understanding. And no learn. No. Uh, uh, what are you going? No. Mm, Extensions and nothing. And Buddha said, What are you coming and suffer, right? And second uh, truth, uh, 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 Buddha and causes suffering. Causes suffering. What are you in you know, for suffer? Suffer, what are you coming? And some people ask, Suffer, what are you meaning? What are you coming? Oh, and causes suffering. Causes suffering, what are you just coming? In crowing to desire, right? And desire attached and attachment uh, and uh, angry in going to is coming to uh, cause suffering, right? We are example. We are uh, crowing, you know, in the mouse very easy, right? Very to desire to look to an iPhone. <laughs> Every day again, after it's a suffering, and I seeking, I seeking, I problem, right? I say, well, maybe it's in, in uh, doctor to go, going to doctor, doctor to, hey, it's in my eye, I, I need seeking, right? <laughs> we are uh, in decent, in craving, in desire, right? 
maybe it's a weird un you know, good understanding or oh, it's looking to you know iphone maybe it's in time 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 to time and working after you close to this bed maybe it's <laughs> guessing and very important we are like, oh, what do you need craving in desire and desire coming and too much eating stomach <laughs> yeah too much in your listen to and music oh it's on the air yeah right this and craving and can exist you know exist oh continue going to call as the causes to and suffering in going and after you know uh to truth uh buddha told you in the cessation cessation suggestion this you know suggestions so what do you mean it's in the liberation to freedom liberation to freedom right we are freedom feeling will bring ex uh, extinction to suffering and cut claws right the cleaning then after years we are freedom no liberation and what do you lip, uh, liberation and third cessation coming before we were studying what are you studying in the fourth truth in a part part they uh other tell you what a uh, traditional a little bit easy uh talking to eight part the fourth oh uh, in the right effort right action right living right in eight part in studying we are every day in we are alive laughing in the eight part in the study to the god uh right understand right thought and right speech right action right uh livelihood oh you know right effort right mindfulness right concentration we are in every day in living in studying in this eight part good studying after we are coming to freedom and liberation and put uh, in the uh, first teaching for noble true and very simple and talk to in for noble true and after a second teaching a little bit hard a little bit hard in in a hot sutra and a mahayana traditional and same for noble true and uh, buddha said this and we are a heart sutra is never day we are reading right similarly in there is and no suffering no origination no cessation no fight there is no exalted wisdom no attainment and also non attainment you know as we are learning to you know for noble truth uh, study to you know mahayana way is set a little bit in how you know same name and meaning in difficult but a little bit hard and now in uh first uh, teaching time in a uh, part an eight part easy right a little bit action and effort and talk to eight part right you know mahayana tradition is second teaching in a you know a uh, part and accumulation seeing no meditation no learn high fat just very deep very deep studying to so for noble true the first uh, teaching in for noble true and whoever studying in little bit simple very easy and learn to on uh, how on this life this life this is studying and learn this way in all in three water traditional in east asia uh, vietnam in thailand and sri lanka myanmar and go into first teaching in you know, lots <coughs> studying for noble truth and uh, the tradition and after second teaching in a mahayana tradition a very you know all sentiment some second teaching young or other students ask to in uh, buddha hey buddha I am now okay. I am now in the liberation. I now freedom. And my daughter, my country, uh, friends, some people are suffering. What do I have? 
right? Oh, but that's it. Oh, okay, I now teaching to a Mahayana tradition. All sentient beings, the body chitta, body who, and very deep, and all sentient beings. Second teaching. Second teaching, and very deep, and all sentient beings. Really different and weaker. And the weaker, right? Small weaker, the high weaker. And small weaker, why do you, some people are talking, hey, why do small and big? Oh, this and the mind is very different. And the small weaker, so I do only self, right? Self, only person. Oh, I am okay. I am, this and the, uh, I am liberated, that's fine. And it's small. How about you? He's in a mind, only small. Why? Well, me. And high vehicle, what do you? Oh, oh, no mind. All city, all help, all whoever, right? My daughter, my father, and all suffering. And I help to all the people in high vehicle. And Buddha teach to a second teaching. Second teaching and a Rajgir in a very <coughs> short and uh, heart sutra. Heart sutra all in emptiness and body chitta who and talked very deep and teaching to um, uh, Mahayana tradition. Awesome. Then, after again, some people and ask to it, right? Oh, Buddha, we are now in uh, this time we are enlightened. That what I say, oh, now, now I not, not too many people I know to teach. Only smart, only very good conditioned guy I teach. Then very, some people, a traditional history took, uh, history look to book. Some people know, no city, uh, uh, Buddha teaching, third teaching, uh, Yambachin, you know, uh, Wajrayana, Teaching no no people in no see no see no see right very in the, some people in the, in the see to in Buddha teaching to teaching very interesting very famous very magic what is no, no too many people very in a, some smart guy right smart and a very in a married people a very magic these people in teach to in a Wajrayana way. Vajrayana way is very deeply and this life, very short time, very, we are enlightened to Buddhahood, Buddha, this time. Then, Lama uh, you Vajrayana know, way, maybe we are this life, very deep, uh, uh, many years studying in meditation and tantra way studying and enlightened. Just it. This, this time, this life. Buddha is in, in the last teaching. And uh, after continuation, 45 years, very hard work. He is now, uh, anyway, walking. Now this time easy, right? In car. <laughs> and coming in food and good, right? This time very 20s, 2000, 2000 the, the years before he is in in India, and too hot. He is not walking. Go anywhere you can go. And no, too easy. Way hard. And after he, in 81 years old, he's and died. Very nice. Thank you. Do you understand? <laughs> My English. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Geshla. Yeah, it's wonderful teaching covering the three vehicles, deepening. Um, Geshla gave very uh, scholarly and passionate talk. Yeah, you know, nice to put that together. I think that um, you know the strong uh, study and yogic and strong bodhicitta all go together. Then talked also of five paths. So <laughs> it's wonderful, you know, that, um, and I like how he, you know, so the Buddha's responding to people's needs and questions. 
responding to people's actual situation. And, um, you know, just reflect, you know, Geshe takes it all the way out and then our, our whole life and then passing away at Kushinagara, you know, so um, the whole life becomes expression of, of, of the truth, right? So I like the way Geshe, you know, presented it from the, the Buddha as an active human being, uh, discovering and presenting and living the truth and then walking to Kushinagara and then lying down. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, because we're here to celebrate and and um, be be Buddha. So, I asked if we could do walk through refuge practice again. Um, uh, Matthew said he would uh, do some Sundays. Oh, some, yeah, he's doing it once. So, <laughs> so I I like that idea. So it isn't just when we're doing. Um, giving refuge ceremony, but um, connect. Um, so uh, one audience, private audience that I had with Dalai Lama and private means with 50 other people, he emphasized, this is at um, Shoreline Amphitheater, Medicine Buddha. So he says, I emphasize, we, ha we have one teacher, Shakyamuni Buddha, one teacher, please, you know, don't forget, right? Okay, so Patty, you you're gonna be Umse. What do you want me to do it? Do you want to do it? Oh, okay. Then we'll start. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Visualize your father on your right side and your mother on your left. Surrounding you, imagine the innumerable sentient beings of the six realms. Realize that all sentient beings are your kind mothers of past and future lives and that they suffer just as you do. Then generate deep compassion for them and think, I must attain the high state of Buddhahood in order to help all these beings. Now that you have produced a special virtuous mind, visualize the field of assembly. Imagine in the vast sky before you on a jeweled throne which is high and wide supported by eight great lions. Upon it is a cushion that is a mandala of multicolored lotus, moon, and sun. Seated upon this is your own real teacher appearing as Shakyamuni Buddha. His body is the color of purified gold, and he has a crown protuberance upon his head. His right hand is touching the earth, and his left is in the gesture of meditative equipoise. Upon it is a begging bowl filled with the nectar of blessings. His body is beautifully covered with the three saffron-colored religious robes of a monk. He sits cross-legged in the middle of an aura of light, and his heart is Vajradhara Buddha, and in Vajradhara's heart is a blue hung, radiating light. Behind Shakyamuni Buddha is another lion throne with a cushion of lotus, moon, and sun, upon which Vajradhara is seated, surrounded by teachers belonging to the lineage of the blessing of practice. On Shakyamuni Buddha's road is Maitreya, surrounded by teachers in the lineage of extensive deeds, and on his left is Manjushri, surrounded by teachers in the lineage of profound view. In front of Shakyamuni Buddha sits your gracious root teacher, just as you see him when receiving his teachings. He is surrounded by the teachers from whom you have had a religious connection, those in direct lineage from Buddha, down to your own root teacher. In circling them are first the assemblies of Buddha Devas and then turn the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, self enlightened ones, hearers, heroes, heroines, protectors of the Dharma and other wisdom deities. In front of each on a jeweled stand, their own religious teachings appear as volumes of scripture whose nature is light. Inconceivable manifestations of each of the assembly radiate to the ten directions, subduing all sentient beings according to their capacities. Envision that the entire assembly is gazing at you with great joy. Next recite, I go for refuge to the Buddha. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of all the Buddhas, including Vajradhara and others. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all other beings, 
they purify everyone from all defilements. After considering that the blessings of the body, speech, and mind of the Buddhas have entered you and all others think, we have come under the protection of the Buddhas. Then recite, I go for refuge to the Dharma. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth in the scriptures. As these streams enter the body and minds of yourself and all others, they purify everyone from all defilements. After considering that the blessings of the Dharma have entered you, and all others think, we have come under the protection of the Dharma. Then recite, I go for refuge to the Sangha. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of the assemblage of wisdom beings, protectors of the Dharma, heroes, heroines, self-enlightened ones, heroes and bodhisattvas. As these streams enter the body and minds of yourself and all others, they purify everyone from all the defilements. After considering that the blessings of the Sangha have entered you and all others think, we have come under the protection of the Sangha. All the objects of the refuge then say, we are your protectors, refuge and allies, we need to deliver you from the suffering of cyclic existence. As they recite this glory, promising to help you, rejoice. Thus with deep prayer and with tears pouring forth from your eyes and the hairs of your body standing on end, Go for refuge. After you've gone for refuge this way, go for refuge can join you with the generation of the altruistic aspiration for enlightenment. Just as a warrior in a fierce battle wishes to protect not only himself, but also his relatives and friends, so you should chiefly think of the needs of sentient beings. Recite, I go for refuge until enlightenment to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of all the members of the field of assembly. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all others and purify everyone from all defilements, the bodies of all are transformed into pure, clear light. All the merit, lifespan, and all the knowledge of both aspects of the Dharma are expanded and increased in everyone. <clears throat> Thank the blessing of the three jewels have entered myself and all others. Now meditate deeply on generating the altruistic aspiration for enlightenment. A duplicate form of Shakyamuni Buddha enters your body and you become Shakyamuni Buddha. Rays of light emanate from your transformed body and strike all sentient beings who have all been your mother and father, purifying them of their defilements and alleviating their suffering. Visualize the mantra in a circle around your heart. Recite, Tai it om muni muni ma muni so.
establishing them in the high state of Shakyamuni Buddha. So let's do precepts too. It's always good to renew, don't you think? Mm. I'll recite, having taken refuge, we pledge to uphold the five precepts in order to support our Dharma practice and the Dharma practice of others. We take the five precepts. I undertake the precept of refraining from killing. I undertake the precept of refraining from stealing. I undertake the precept of refraining from lying. I undertake the precept of refraining from sexual misconduct. I undertake the precept of refraining from intoxicants. I acknowledge each and every misdeed. I rejoice in the virtue of living beings. I hold in my mind the thought of enlightenment in the Buddha. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until enlightenment in order to fully accomplish the purposes of others. I will generate the aspiration for enlightenment. At the end of the session, envision a ray of light radiating from Shakyamuni Buddha. Shakyamuni Buddha then melts into the space between your two eyebrows. Imagine that you have received the blessings of all the field of assembly, rest in meditation. I'll recite, after generating the superior aspiration, I will cherish all sentient beings and perform the beautiful highest deeds of enlightenment. May I achieve Buddhahood to help all sentient beings. Great. So we do closing prayers. Patty can lead. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chenrezig, Tenzin Gyatso, please remain until samsara ends. May the teachings of the Buddha flourish, and may the upholders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness, and may they fulfill all their temporary and ultimate goals. Lo's song, magical display of the deep awareness of all the victorious ones. Merciful giver of a stream of profound and vast instructions to the fortunate migrators. Please remain always unperishing, unchanging, unfeed. Avalokiteshvara, great treasure of compassion. Manjushri, master of flawless wisdom. Vajrapani, destroyer of the entire host of Mars. 
Tsongkhapa, Crown Jewel of the Snowy Land Sages, Lo Songdrakpa, I make request at your holy feet. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Dirk, for staying up late. <laughs> thank you, Marie, for tuning in. And all those around, thank you, JD, also for staying up late in Atlanta. That's a big deal. So, uh, and Ashley, well, you're up late too, even though you're safe teams. <laughs> so, so, when these holidays, so particularly um, wheel turning, um, you know, August, 2022, I, I try to take a snapshot in my mind and remember who's here. Because so often we just kind of roll along, but it, it, it really makes a difference. Like, oh, wow, you know, Susan was here. Yeah, she's here. Kishla's here. Lama's, you know, it's like Patty's here and Dirk's here and JD and Michelle and Zima. You know, <laughs> you know, and uh, Dan, you know, Charles, Marie, you know, Doug, Brad, you know, uh, it's it's not just that we're doing refuge again. It's like I was there. You know, we can remember times where, you know, historic events, right? So for the people that heard the Buddha for the first time, that was a historic event. Changed your life. To, you know, some people took refuge right then. Changed your life. So uh, I always like to rededicate myself during um, turning the wheel holiday and say, oh, I, was, I started over again with these people. So um, we, we have, uh, you know, and... Of course, Daniel West is here too. Yes, <laughs> so Dan and Dan. So um, the Buddha started out with a small group, you know, but because of realization and uh, really pure bodhicitta, then that grew. Yeah, just so it's good. And the others here, and Jules is here. I know you're thinking I forgot you, didn't you? Yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah, you are. Why must do that? You know, my teacher used to do that to me all the time. He can say thing, he congratulate everybody, and then it's, it's something they do at Sarah J all the time. Right? <laughs> all right, good night or good morning, everybody. Ciao, thank you. Bye. <laughs> But hoping um, going forward uh, with the group, you know, can can do some more traditional bridges with, you know, some burls, horns. That would be nice to do that, right? You know, because you guys have received the initiations, and um, some of you know the mudras really well, and you know. Yeah, particularly protective practice, you know, but we can also do some, some like pujas that's nice to invite people to, you know. Um, so I make an aspiration for that. All right, good night again. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>